Here we have a very unique piece that was found in an abandoned robber's pit in the Mankara Valley Temple on the Giza Plateau. What's really interesting about this piece specifically is that it shows how important these two figures are. Yeah, the two figures are King Mankara and his queen. There's a lot of controversy about the woman in this piece because there's a huge debate over who the woman is. It's his wifey. No, it's his mother. Wifey. Mother. Wifey. Anyways, yeah, some people believe it's the queen, his wife, while others are convinced it's his mother. No one can really know for sure because they are both portrayed younger than they were. This piece also shows how dedicated the artist was because it's made out of gray wacky, a material that is known for being extremely hard to carve and form. Especially in that time period of 2490 through 2472 BCE Egypt, where they didn't have tools that we have today. Yeah, they actually only had small wooden and some stone hand tools where they carved away very slowly at the material. One thing to notice about this piece are the figures themselves. We mentioned that they are made to look younger than they were at the time, but one thing I wanted to point out are their stances. Yeah, I agree. Both of their left foot extended in a power-like stance. It just really explains the amount of power and authority that these two had during their lifetime. Yeah, and it's normally like this in Egyptian art, where the pharaoh's foot is extended as a show of power and status. Also notice how the woman is slightly behind the pharaoh. The alignment of these two most likely resembles the lesser of two powers between the pharaoh and his queen. However, she still shows a lot of status with that extended foot. Also, the queen's gaze, overlooking outwards, shows her superiority over her subjects. She is also highlighted by her quote-unquote perfect proportions. Her clothing also shows this. Yeah, the lack of clothing on her upper half of her body is made to show this along with her skirt. Traditionally, it wouldn't have been clinging to her as shown in this piece because the artist wanted to show her off. Her hair is also a significant in this piece. It's divided into three sections. There are two draped over her shoulders while the other are flowing down her back. The queen's natural hair is also visible on her forehead. Looking at the king's traditional clothing, he wears the traditional false beard that is traditionally related with the pharaohs is based off of the ancient Egyptian god Osiris, which is the only known god to wear this fake beard. And as you can see, his beard is slightly more elongated and has a curl to it, which is interesting in contrast to other pharaohs found, as well as his traditional meme. Meme? No, meme. N-E-M-E. -E. Nemo? No, okay, I just gave up. Next topic. The headdress that pharaohs wear are seen quite frequently. He is also holding claws used for rituals. This piece was made in a very vital time in the 4th dynasty in the Old Kingdom. Yes, during this time, the kingdom around the Nile River flourished. Their empire lasted for nearly 3,000 years. The fact that they are both included in this piece is also very important because in their belief system, duality and predictable cycles were held very high. The whole reason for making this piece was to ensure the king made it to the afterlife with his ka intact. Ka is the divine spirit of a person. Ka can survive the death of the body and can live on in a picture or statue of that person. Yeah, he's got a ka. <gasps> it sounds like car! Tony, this is a serious topic! He's got a ka! <laughs> okay, going on. Something that is specific to this piece is that it's actually unfinished. Yeah, one thing I noticed about this piece is that it's unfinished. Looking at the legs specifically, they're unpolished along with the back of the wall they're leaning on. This piece is also lacking an inscription by the artist. Something that I've noticed is that a piece that can be related to King Minkara and Queen is Tamati Waka Waka Nene. Waka Waka! In these pieces, they both show their leadership and authority. Waka Waka, I mean. Another piece that can be related to King Minkara and Queen is one we haven't talked about yet called Wall Plaque from Oba's Palace. Both these show their hierarchy of scale to highlight the leader with multiple or one other person. Thanks for watching, and if you really enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and then you can go ahead and hit that bell while you're at it to go ahead and get notified whenever I post. If you really like this video, you can go ahead and hit that like button, and if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw that comment down at the bottom of the page. Where's the subscribe button?